so the deers got me so bad i finally decided to move most of my plants that they were eating onto the patio here so what they got was tomato look at that took they, they just like the tips they really do like the tips of everything i guess that's where the soft area is the softer area is so i transplanted them from the front of the house we got a lot of tomatoes i tried to plant them as deep as possible because they they definitely got some shock right now look how like they're fall how limp they are just falling over everywhere super limp uh they were going to town on my cucumbers look at these bite marks it's, it's like they tried it they're like i don't really like it and then they switched to just eating the damn cucumbers off of it so <laughs> now you see this right here it completely got this there's a lot of these on the plant where they just continue to just take it out so decided to move this up here and just let it grow let it be like a forest maybe this tendril will come out over here or this vine or whatever you want to call it and grab this i don't care what it does as long as them doggone deers aren't eating it so that's a little cucumber that's looking okay you see the end where it needs to be going out further it's freaking dead <laughs> It, it, they, they did a work on this but it's still living so got a whole bunch of tomatoes the problem wasn't at first that they were eating the tomato plants they weren't but when they found that there was actually tomatoes that was on here tomatoes were probably like the size of my hand still green but they they took them out <laughs> so the tomatoes had to go most every plant that i had out there that they mess with a lot I, I removed i put it up here that's a cucumber i believe i hope it is um that's a zucchini in there i'm gonna have to uproot that and get it in a bigger pot eventually but yeah that's what had to happen let's check out this one right here as you can see they just love getting those tips and eating those tips off and the tomato but didn't kill the plant just love to eat off of it so i need to, those three zucchinis right there i need to do something about those remember my strawberries yeah i had to uproot those guys um yeah they're doing fine in here right now but look at all this damage all oh, this is were big ass strawberry like leaves took off the whole top so we're gonna figure out what we want to do with these strawberries definitely can't stay here but we i really just need to get some more of these containers right here and just completely just make a container garden up here until i build my fence which at first is going to be a little garden fence i'm just going to make a little fence for the garden it probably won't be it's not going to be little let's say that but it's going to be a fence for the actual garden not a whole yard fence and eventually i'll get the complete yard fence so this is my biggest tomato by the way and it got hurt the most by the re re by the move pretty much got hurt both most by the move this is a small one so really right now i'm gonna see how this one does if this survives i'll let it survive right here if it starts looking real pitiful looks like it's gonna die i'm gonna put this smaller one in here because the smaller ones are gonna do better because their roots don't need to provide as much energy to to make all this work and when you when i uproot it of course you're not going to get every single root out of there so the root is probably just not enough to the roots not big enough to handle this big old tomato plant so right now the roots kind of trying to catch up everything's trying to catch up from the shock this is another small one that i could put in here if this doesn't survive but we'll see we will see learning experience thanks for watching the video i'm out peace